It's the door of a Trabant car. Now, Trabant in East Germany was the common piece of transportation that was used. It was a very popular car. This piece is a reconstruction of one that was done by the KGB to have on display to show the innovation and creativity of the Stasi. Though the KGB was a wonderful technical service, they really were second to the engineers and designers of Stasi, because they were using the, the remnants of the Zeiss Jena factory, and they were using some of the best optical designers in the world, and they had very creative solution to optical challenges, and it marveled the KGB, and this was on display in their academy. The East German Security Service, the Stasi, was always aware of public disruptions, displays, uh, riots, marches, they're very interested in identifying the leaders. So what they decided was they needed to take a regular Trabant car door and have it prepared so that they could do photography at night. The key was how do you get lighting? Though you could have an individual light, it certainly wouldn't be adequate for somehow illuminating a crowd or a disruptive mob. So what they did was modify a Trabant door by adding to it infrared lights. Now the key to this was of course the door panel was solid but they manufactured it out of a material that was translucent to infrared light. So even though you couldn't see it, even the human eye couldn't see it, certainly the camera could and especially when loaded with infrared film. The reason a Trabant was selected, it was the most common car seen on the streets. So for them they simply molded out of the special translucent material, the door. And it was a special rigged car and it had no function other than as a light source for demonstrations. So by preparing infrared cameras in the vehicle and using this, they could drive down a street, they could drive into a crowd, a mob, a demonstration, and take excellent lighted pictures to do identification of key individuals in the crowd.